Imagine you developed a job or other resources, and you want to use them in another project. You could copy the resource into your new project. However, any changes you make in the original project won't appear in your new project. Instead of copying, you can reuse all the resources, such as jobs, schemas, and metadata, from the reference project in your new project. One thing to note about reference projects is that this functionality only applies to remote projects, that is, projects stored in a central repository, such as Git or SVN. Local projects do not support referencing. In Talent Studio, referencing a project is a straightforward process. You simply choose the project and branch you're interested in and add it as a reference in your current project, making everything in the reference project available in your new project. As an example, let's say that multiple teams are working on a data integration project. One team is responsible for determining what the inbound data looks like. They created a joblet that generates the appropriate sample data. This gives other teams a great starting point and ensures they're all working from data that's shaped the same way. They also created a generic schema to help standardize the configuration of components by other teams. Notice that this is not a local project. It's saved to our repository. So how can we put this effort to use? Here's the start of a new project, and we want to reference the resources created by the previous team. Let's right-click Reference Project, then select Reference Projects to open the Project Settings window. Click the arrow to get the project list. This list populates all the other projects in the repository that we have permissions for. Let's select Reference Materials. Now, if you want to, you can choose a specific branch. We'll leave the branch as Master, which is the default. We'll click the plus button to add the project to our list of references. This list of references can be exported and imported as needed to reuse this list elsewhere. Let's click Apply and Close to save our changes. Talon Studio needs to reload the project to add the reference, so we'll click OK. Now to make use of our referenced resources, we can use this joblet and schema. In this empty job, we'll add a t-log row component, and instead of using a built-in schema, we'll use the one in our referenced project. We'll change the schema dropdown to repository, then click the ellipses to the left of edit schema. We can see in the reference section that the generic schema is available. We'll select Metadata and click OK. We can look at the schema by clicking the ellipses to the right of Edit Schema, leaving View Schema selected, and clicking OK. And we can see a series of defined columns that we did not have to do by hand. We'll click Cancel to close the schema window. Now let's see about using the joblet. We'll scroll up to find it. There it is. Just like any other component, we can drag it onto the designer for our job. We'll connect it to the t-log row component using a main row. Then configure how our output displays in the console. We'll open the component view, click Sync Columns, and set the mode as Table. Let's switch to the Run view, and click Run to run the job. Now we can see the sample data in the console. Again, realize that we did not configure any of that by hand in this project. Instead, we're referencing a joblet from a different project.